hello everyone so in this particular video we are going to see about the store procedure in a sql and this is the important from a sql advanced perspective and also from a interview perspective and from a query solution perspective okay so what is store procedure let us try to understand and then we will go for the example so store procedure is nothing but a, it is a group of a pre-compiled sql statement that can be reused again and again okay for taking example suppose i have i have to write one query again and again suppose i have to write one query one query again and again again and again okay so instead of writing that query again and again what we will do i will create one store procedure i'll create one store procedure and whenever i require the same kind of the uh, query i will call directly the store procedure instead of calling the query again and again i will directly call the store procedure store procedure okay so this is how the store procedure work let us try to understand with the example okay suppose i have one table in this table i have all the information of the customer okay from a different region customer who are belonging from a different region i have all the details okay now if i will tell you you give me all the results of customer okay who are who are from a who are from a india okay so what you will write select star from customer table where reason equal to the india this is the query you will write okay for taking example just i am taking a simple query but in real time what actually happen uh, generally you will write a complex query okay generally you will write a complex query with the multiple joining operation union operation and there are so many logics you will apply okay and uh, suppose you have written one uh, big big logic okay and after one week the people are asking can you give me the same kind of the query result for the different reason okay so what you have to do again you have to write the same kind of the query uh, with the same kind of the conditions right so instead of doing that what actually we can do we can write one store procedure store procedure uh, and in this store procedure what we will do we will do some kind of the parameterization parameterization with that parameter changes if anyone uh, need to execute that right they will directly call the store procedure and they have to write like this execute store procedure and the parameter okay let us try to understand with the example so that you will be having a better understanding okay so i have one employee table if i show you my employee table i have a id name post salary and the location column okay this is the data i have available in a employee okay now first let us try to see how actually we can create a store procedure okay so how actually we can create what you have to write create procedure and the procedure name okay so what is the procedure name suppose you are giving a emp det something okay any name you can give okay create procedure and the procedure name you have to write and after that the query you have to pass okay so what i will do i am passing the same query okay how to create a store procedure create procedure and the procedure name and after that you have to write as and the query you have to write as of now I am just writing the select star from employee but generally you will be having a complex query okay now if I will execute you will get to see one this command completed successfully now how actually we can call it execute and the store procedure name store procedure name okay now if you will call it you will be able to see all the employee details you are able to see okay as of now this is how actually we create a store procedure i hope we are clear till here okay now this is the simple query we have written but generally this query will be having a complex query where you will apply a multiple joining where you will apply a multiple filter conditions and all based on that you will do right so and after that whenever you will execute you will get the same kind of the results so instead of writing the whole query what actually now we can do we will call execute emp det and we will get the same result okay so this is how the re reusability increase okay for taking example let us take the second example suppose i have to i have to get all employee details from india from india so what i will write i'll create one store procedure create procedure and the emp det india okay i'm just passing any name okay you can give also any name so what i will write select star from employee employee where location equal to the location equal to the india okay okay now i will execute 
one store procedure will be created now whenever you i have to get all the details imp, details of employee who are from india what i will write i'll just write the execute and the employee india i will get the whole result who are from my india region you can see the location equal to india only it is showing okay i do not have to write the same kind of the query again and again whenever i have a requirement to get the details of the employee who are from my india i will just write this and i will get the whole information means it is increasing my reusability right so this kind of the advantage we have while using a store procedure now let us see more use cases and more advantage okay now so this is the code i was writing okay now suppose if if anyone is saying you have to get all the employee who are from a uk region so again what you will do again you will create one store procedure employee uk and where location equal to the uk you will pass okay and if you write execute execute and this call you will get the employee dt uk okay this is solving my purpose you can see location equal to the uk now again if anyone is saying you have to get all the employee details who are from a usa so what you will do again you will write the same code right but this is not a reusability means reusability means i will write one code and i can call any time okay for that we have a concept of the parameterize parameter in a store procedure so let us see and this is a very important okay so till now we have seen like okay till now we have seen like how to create a store procedure how actually we can create a store procedure create procedure and the procedure name okay so what i will write emp det all okay this is the name i am giving and after that you were writing a query right select star select star from employee employee where where location equal to the and here you were passing the location like india then you are passing the india if it is a uk you are passing the india but now we have one concept of the parameter so instead of hard coding this india uk us what actually we can do we can do a parameterize okay so how actually we can do first you have to write create procedure and the procedure name after that you can do one parameter you can give any name so i am giving one name loc this is a parameter i am creating at the rate loc at the rate okay whatever the name you want to give for the parameter you can write that and before that you have to use at the rate because we are passing a where care value right so we have to define the where care also where care okay i will pass the 20 okay now what i will do select star from employee where location equal to india if i will do it will give me result only for the india reason but instead of passing that what i will pass at the rate location at the rate location okay now we have created one query which will work for the all the location okay now if i will execute this okay now if anyone is saying to give me all the result who are from a india region so what i will write execute employee details and if you will write india okay india you will be able to see the result who are from a india if anyone is saying to give me all the result who are from a uk so what you will write execute employee detail uk you will get all the result for the uk means that i have created one code and i am able to call again and again okay so that kind of the advantage we have in store procedure okay how actually we have done create procedure procedure name at the rate loc and the where care and in the query itself i am passing this parameter okay and on calling right if i am calling uk so where location equal to the uk that kind of the query i am getting if i am passing india where location equal to the india actually it is taking okay so that kind of the things actually we get okay now let us try to see with one more example okay now suppose if anyone is saying okay if anyone is saying uh, you have to filter the record uh, the salary should be greater than the 50000 okay uh, okay so i have one I have created one store procedure create procedure procedure name and the location parameter I am giving and also I want to filter based on the salary so what I will write I will use one more parameter at the rate salary because here we will pass integer right okay so what I will write where location equal to the at the rate location and salary equal to the salary 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 greater than at the rate salary at the rate salary 
okay at the rate salary okay what is the query i am writing i am writing one query okay here what i am doing i want to get all the employee details who should be from a particular particular region and their salaries should be greater than the particular range okay so that is the query i am writing so for that what i have done i have created one parameter for the location and created one parameter for the salary okay and this is the query i am writing if i will execute this it is successfully how actually we can call execute table suppose from the india region so india region i will pass and the salary should be greater than the 50000 so i'll write the 50000 okay if you will execute like this okay you will get to see one error okay so what you have to write comma okay now if you will execute you will be able to see all the employee whose salaries who are from india region and their salary is greater than the 50000 if i will write who are from the uk and the salary is greater than 50000 you will be able to get the result you can see only one employee okay this kind of the analysis you can do you can write one query one time and you can pass parameter and whenever based on the requirement you, you can call that and you will get the same kind of the result okay so this is how the store procedure work i hope you got it so here actually you can write the all the kind of the insert statement also update statement also any kind of the sql query and you can do a parameterization okay so that is the advantage of the store procedure i hope you got it